So hello students, I am Dr. Pradeep Pawar, Professor of Anatomy. Pectoral region, okay. So pectoral region is the front of the chest. In this pectoral region, we have got muscles. Let us see this first muscle here. This muscle, this is a big muscle of the pectoral region. Yes, correct. This muscle is the pectoralis major. Pectoralis major. Now, what is the origin of this muscle? Th this muscle arises from the clavicle. You can see this is the clavicle here. This is the medial two thirds of the clavicle. That's the lateral one thirds. So this muscle arises from the medial two thirds of the clavicle. It arises from the manubrium and the body of the sternum. Half the length of the manubrium and the body of the sternum. The second to sixth costal cartilages, second to sixth costal cartilages, and it also arises from a muscle of the abdomen here, a muscle of abdomen, the outermost muscle. Yes, that is the external oblique aponeurosis. External oblique aponeurosis. So, if you understand the origin of pectoralis major, it arises from the medial two thirds of the clavicle, the manubrium, and the body of the sternum. The second to sixth costal cartilages and the aponeurosis of external oblique muscle. So this is a big origin. Now students, if this muscle goes and gets inserted, where is the insertion? It gets inserted on the humerus. Now if this entire muscle gets inserted on the humerus, half of the humerus would be lost in its insertion. So what is done? This muscle is going to twist. Okay, the upper fibers they go down and the lower fibers they go up, they cross. And this is an example of a cruciate muscle. Cruciate muscle. The fibers are going to cross. The upper fibers, they go down. The lower fibers, they go up. So the area required for insertion becomes very less. And this is what we call as a U-shaped insertion. A U-shaped insertion of pectoralis major. Now students, where is the insertion? Now what is this for the humerus? If you can just quickly answer this. What is this for the humerus? That is the lesser tubercle. What is this for the humerus? That is the greater tubercle, right? So lesser tubercle, greater tubercle, correct? This is the bicipital groove here, bicipital groove. What is this lip? What is this lip of the bicipital groove? That's the lateral lip of the bicipital groove. And this becomes the medial lip of the bicipital groove. Lateral lip, medial lip. So where is the insertion of pectoralis major? It is inserted on the lateral lip of the bicipital groove, the lateral lip of the bicipital groove. Fine, so origin is here, insertion is on the humerus. So when this muscle contracts, what does it do? Look, a general rule, when a muscle contracts, it always brings its insertion close to its origin, right? So when this muscle contracts, what does it do? It takes the arm towards the body, towards the body. What is this? Adduction, yes, adduction at the shoulder joint. It takes the arm forwards, forwards. What is this? This is flexion at the shoulder joint. Flexion at the shoulder joint. Right. And it also turns the arm inwards. Inwards. What is this? Medial rotation at the shoulder joint. Medial rotation. So students, what is the action of pectoralis major? A very important MCQ. Always asked in the vivas. This should be very clear. Adduction. Adduction. Flexion and medial rotation at the shoulder joint. That's the action of pectoralis major. Okay, very nice. I hope this is clear to all of you. Now, coming to the nerve supply of this muscle. Now, this muscle is supplied by two nerves. One is the lateral pectoral nerve and second is the medial pectoral nerve, the lateral and the medial pectoral nerves. And students, when a muscle is supplied by two different nerves, Two nerves supplying a muscle, such muscles are known as what? Yes, it is known as a composite muscle, composite or a hybrid muscle, composite or a hybrid muscle. Clear to all of you? So that's about the pectoralis major muscle.